You're loyal to me. How can you be from Genos Island? I, I, I know. I know what I've done, okay? You don't need to do this. Please, just hear me out. I only wanted to use the demon's power to make Velgana into a strong and powerful nation. I was just going to ask the people of the island for their assistance. I never gave any orders to exterminate them, I swear. It, it was a mistake. I never intended for things to turn out the way they did. It's the God's honest truth, I swear it. Please, believe me, it's not my fault. <sighs> How pathetic. Even now, you still seek to worm your way out of all responsibility for what you've done? I don't imagine the men, women, and children you sacrificed are of the same mind on this. All of this. Every last bit of it was caused by your own foolish ambition and greed. You will pay for your crimes against my people. First in blood. And then I've no doubt your immortal soul will follow. I've told you before, you are not to interfere! This is my affair. It does not concern you. If you insist on getting in my way, I'll cut you down, just as I did Dogi. I'm gone! Here we go! <laughs> Life. <laughs> Pathetic worm. To think that slime like you orchestrated such inhuman atrocities against my people. But no matter. It's almost time for the final curtain. You're going to die like the disgusting pig you are. You, just stay right where you are, and watch the story unfold. It'll all be over soon. Stop this, Chester! Please, you have to stop this. I know what I have to do, Elena. Our parents were murdered. Our home was burned to the ground. You may not remember any of it. But I'll never forget. I do remember. I remember our father's voice piercing through the flames, telling everyone to run while he stayed and fought. I... I remember the smile on our mother's face as she died, knowing we were safe. Elena? You? I remember everything now. It's all just as you said it was. Those years before we came to Redmont, 
The events of that horrible day, everything. I wish you wouldn't have. You'd have been better off forgetting it all. But there's no need to worry. I don't intend to involve you in this. This is my struggle, not yours. I would never stay in another's hands with blood. Chester, I'm so sorry. You hurt so much all this time, but you kept it all bottled inside to spare my feelings. I never knew. I just... never knew. But Chester, this... this is all for nothing. I don't think it's ever been possible to appease the souls of our people. What? They... they're not here anymore. After all the horrible things they've been through, I think what they really want, what they really want is just to rest in peace. I know our father would want us to be happy, together. He wouldn't want us to take revenge, not like this, not at all even. I'll never believe that vengeance would make him happy. And that's all I want, Chester. I want him to be happy, and our mother, and you and I too. I want us all to be happy. You may be stern, self-deprecating, and stubborn as anything, but you're the most dependable, kind, and thoughtful brother I could have ever asked for. You were there for me when our father couldn't be. I love you, Chester. So, please, don't do this. Don't force this on yourself. I... What was that? No. What the hell have you done? I, I don't know! I never knew that much about the power of the statues to begin with. The construction of the, the clock tower, the massacre on Genis Island. I was just doing as I was told. Told? Told by whom? <laughs> that would be me. Bishop Nicholas? Count McGuire and Sir Stoddart. You've both done splendidly. Everything is proceeding according to plan. That chime you heard? It signals that the power of the statues has been conferred to the one true god! W what Bishop, what are you talking about? I thought you were helping me exact my revenge. Well, of course, since we were in collusion. I explained to you the secret of the clock tower. And you placed the statues in the appropriate spots, just as I instructed. Now, their power has been drained and infused into the spirit vein that runs beneath this land. The four streams shall meet deep below the rocks of Genos Island. We're there to reunite as one. And awaken Galbalan! The dark mist that's flooded the castle is merely a byproduct of this divine flow of energy. Still, I'd say you achieved your original intention quite admirably. Wouldn't you agree? Wait, wasn't Galbalan destroyed a long time ago? I find it highly amusing that a descendant of Genos should be so naive about the nature of Galbalan. Destroyed? Preposterous! He was simply drained of his power, cut to pieces, and forced into a wretched sleep. But that all ends now. This world will once again be under the watchful eye of a great and mighty god. Bishop, you're a man of the cloth. How can you say such blasphemous things? <laughs> oh, I cast off those outmoded beliefs long ago. I, Nicholas Garland, seek a true god with true power! I must say, Chester, my plan would never have succeeded so spectacularly were it not for your 
petty vengeance, I extend to you my deepest gratitude. He shielded! I guess I'm going to have to use this sword! Ah, I know that blade. Prepare to die, you filthy heretic! You don't have the power to properly wield that sword, you fool! So, now it's your turn to try in vain, is it? Perhaps you can offer me a worthy challenge. Let's find out, shall we? Let's see what you can do! You're coming with me, Chester. There's still one duty you must fulfill. Your people sealed God away, and the children must suffer for the sins of their fathers. Wait, please! If you need a descendant of Genos, then take me, not my brother. <laughs> oh, how touching. Such love between brother and sister. Very well. Bring her, Delarn. Adol, thank you for everything. When you came to rescue me, I was so happy, so moved. Please, make sure Chester pulls through. Well then, gentlemen, I bid you adieu. I hope you're looking forward to God's revival as much as I am! Bishop Nicholas was the puppet master behind this whole ordeal. I... I just can't believe it's true. He was always such a devoted proponent of God's teachings. But the facts are the facts, and this is no time to wallow in disillusionment. Not only has Eleanor been taken, but that earthquake brought us new monsters, the likes of which we've never seen. Galbaland's resurrection is indeed nigh. Redmond cannot survive much more of this. Dear Lord, hear my prayer. Let's not bother God just yet. Man's time is far from over. Bearheart, what in the world are you doing here? It's been a long time, Bear. I spoke with McGuire at the end. He filled me in on the situation, more or less. Thought I might lend my strength to the town's defenses. That would be most appreciated. With you here, we'll be able to stand our ground for as long as it takes. Is there anything you need for the job? Just for every able-bodied man to join the fray. And Father Pierre, I'd like for you to gather the women and children and make sure they're safe in the church. Understood. I'll get right on it. Now then, Adol, if you're to set off the Genos Island, there's that dock north of the town entrance, along the road to the castle. Wait, are you... You and Doki came here on a small boat, correct? The island's not far offshore. 
You can see it from the dock and... Now wait just one second. Elena may have been kidnapped, but you can't seriously be thinking of asking that or to... Mayor, this young man has been guided down the path of Genos himself. Ultimately, it is his choice whether or not to go. But you know as well as I do which option he'll take. We mustn't hold him back. All we can do is give him our support. Time is precious. I'll start bolstering the town's defenses. Oh, an adult? Chester's in the room next door. He awoke shortly after I arrived here. I believe he has something he'd like to say to you before you go. You. I must confess, I've made a terrible mistake. I involved innocent people in my quest for vengeance. I played right into the bishop's schemes. And as a result, I helped bring about the resurrection of Galbalan. I'm... not worthy to carry this sword. Please, take it. It's been handed down through generations upon generations of Genesis descendants. With it, you should be able to face the bishop on even footing. Please, save my sister. Save... Elena. Chester lapsed into a deep sleep. Supposedly, there's a way. If only I knew the seat thing is. There are first off, I need more plus. Like I said, when you I learned the craft from and from all the stories he used. What do you got for me? This the one? Good to go. Come again. Welcome. Don't be a stranger. Give me that look. I'm not hurt that bad, and this is no time to be lying around in bed. Elena's been snatched away, right? I heard about it back in town. Adol filled Dogie in on all the details. Yep, that's pretty much what I figured. And I guess you were planning on going to the island all by your lonesome, right? Man, you need to learn to speak up sometimes. Just who do you think you're dealing with here? First off, the waters are choppy today. Unless you're used to it like I am, you'd never even make it to the island. So, I'm going with you, and that's that. Best make sure you got everything you need before we set off, though. 
I get the feeling that what we're about to face won't go down easy with the usual weapons and armor. Ready to ship off to... All right! Chester and Eleanor. Huh? It's quiet. Too quiet. Let's just get going before something horrible happens. Oh, crying out loud. At all. I'm sorry. Don't worry about me. You go, save her. Nobody fell unconscious. I knew you'd come. At the castle, it was made perfectly clear that you have no hope of defeating us. And yet here you are. Be it gallant or foolish, you risk it all to save Elena. But I cannot let you pass. My life or yours. The battle ends for one of us. Now. Spin! Smurfs! You've gotten really strong. Once, he saved my life. He saved my soul. His words, the sight of him, was all I ever had to live for. But then he went to the Ilburn's ruins, and he came back. 
changed. Even so, I still had faith in him. And then he and I became of one body. Twelve years ago, we attacked the people of this island. Maybe this is punishment for my sins, for, for my blind devotion. Thank you, Adol, for saving my soul. Please help her.